Good everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so in the previous episode, I talked about how you can embed uh, a Visual Force page on the Lightning uh, Lightning page. Now, I just wanted to uh, take you a step back and make you understand what exactly it meant when we talk about you know putting a Visual uh, Force page uh, to a the Lightning page. What does it do, right? Because from a user perspective, yes, it doesn't make sense. Any difference right because uh, it renders this page just like a lightning page and you know makes no difference to your user from a user experience point of view but we are talking about from a developer perspective right we are not a user we are developers so from a developer perspective what does it mean so what exactly is a, a container so so you might have heard about the word container right so I wanted to talk briefly touch uh, about the difference between uh, a visual app container in the, in the Salesforce Classic space and in the Lightning space, right? Because it's been important for you guys to understand if you're a developer, if you are moving your uh, visual force page on the light on the Lightning side of things. Okay. Now, in the Salesforce Classic, right? If you worked in the Salesforce Classic, um, in that environment, you might know that you know visual force pretty much owns the page, right? When you talk about this page, Visual Force owns the page, the request, the environment, everything is taken care of by the Visual Force, right? And in this case, in, in, in terms of the, the classic application, it's safer to say Visual Force is the ap application container. But when it comes to the lighting experience as we are right now, as we're seeing right now, it's, it's entirely different experience. So in this case, Visual Force is not the application container. In this case, the Lightning Experience container is the parent container, and the Visual Force run inside an iframe, right, which is wrapped inside the Lightning uh, Experience container. So, in in simple terms, uh, you know, you can assume, uh, you can imagine as the Visual for a Visual Force page as a child uh, component, right? Now, when you look about, uh, you know. And you know, outer lightning experience container, right? In this case, that's the main container, and the visual force, you know, sits inside it. So you can say that the the lightning experience container is the parent container, and the visual force page is a child container. And visual force page has to comply to the to the constraints imposed by uh, the parent, right? Uh, so you might pretty well know, right? Uh, you know that. You know, we are when you talk about the Lightning uh, experience, we're talking about the single page application, right? If you are someone uh, who worked with, say, React JS, React is one of my favorite framework out there. Uh, so you pretty much know what I'm talking about, right? So, um, so you have to understand that when we are talking about, you know, embedding a Visual Force page uh, to the Lightning page, uh, it will be, uh, you know confined using certain constraint, such as the size of a frame in which your visual force page is uh, displayed. And, you know, so that's one of the thing. And um, then also you have to understand that there is a security implication. Okay, the security like authentication, uh, cross domain request, embedding rec uh, restrictions and session maintenance and renewal. This all has, these all things has an impact when we are talking about a visual force uh, uh, the container visual force inside a container, right? So, and uh, so now that is you know something I believe that you know you will know if you are a JavaScript developer because you know that's something because the reason why is that right? Because if your page okay, if it's communicating with the services besides Salesforce, then the your iframe boundary you know might ask you to update your organization core settings, remote site settings, you know, click jack settings, or content security policies, right? So, you know, so that's one of the things. I, I expect you to know Visual Force page at this stage if you're thinking, what the heck this guy talking about? Well, you know, I, I do expect you to have some understanding of the Visual Force page. I'm not going to explain in detail uh, what is the core setting or remote site setting. This is pretty basic because if you have done PD1, you should know these things, right? I'm not going to cover in details around this stuff. And also, as you know, that this depends on the security policy, right? And the settings outside the Salesforce. So, so 
as a as a developer right when you are moving uh your visual force page to the lightning stuff you need to pay attention to these things right so you might the the thing is that you know when you move your visual force page to the lightning stuff most of the stuff works fine but there are certain tweaks if you're using a embed custom javascript you might have to do some kind of modification right um so so yeah right you know javascript scope visibility and access you know global so that kind of things um also um you know you have to understand one thing i've talked about this before that when a visual force page right that runs on a on a, a lighting experience they always have standard salesforce classic header okay and the sidebar is always uh suppressed that's that's pretty obvious change which you will notice it but yeah so you know i would highly encourage you to go to the trailhead and you know if you if you don't know visual force if you don't have any idea what the heck is visual force is about uh then I'm, i think you should go back and do pd1 if you have done pd1 then i'm not sure how did you clear the pd1 in the first place so i mean i'm very up, honest about it you know because you know i do understand i've seen people who wanted to take you know developer 2 and they ask questions which makes no sense right i'll, I'll just ask hang on a second but one of the prerequisites for pd2 is pd1 have you taken pd1 to say yeah like really but you don't and seems to understand the pretty basic stuff did you use dumps by any chance you know that's the problem i have right you know so you know i i'm sorry i don't i don't want wanted to sound harsh or mean but this is something i've seen from a uh, new zealand perspective I, i'm not i don't know about what's happening in india what's happening in the united states or sweden or for that matter you know i've seen certain people right they say oh i have this this, this experience and when you interview them that pretty much fails to answer even a very basic question and that because and this is a fault of partially the recruitment as well you know we are we are running short of resources in this country and they say oh bring anyone you want that should not be an attitude right i mean you can't bring anyone you need to bring the skilled people so that's one of the reason why i started this entire series to begin with just to train people for free to say look guys learn as much as you can take all the stuff free you want right except the architect stuff right because architect needs stuff needs a lot of time and preparation so the rest of the stuff every stem of the certification sales force I'm going to do it for free for you guys so you know that's a tree right every other certification like cpq service cloud sales cloud einstein einstein I started a bit then I you know gave up I just got bored to be honest doing einstein einstein is one of the most boring uh you know certification I've ever you know I wanted to make course for I no offense but Einstein is extremely boring you know I I mean I I'm I'm a kind of guy who actually you know sometimes do work on deep learning side of things but Einstein is just you know I don't want it to get into it it's just too boring for me so I'm I don't want it to revisit Einstein so you know there are other people who does Einstein so you can you can learn from them uh, I don't want it to do Einstein so Um, yeah and other certification i will do omni studio i'm not so sure i will say um you know when we get to that and yeah because i i just don't want to do certification for the sake of it because you know i wanted to make sure you guys understand where you can use it right i wanted to bring the industry experience so, sorry for the rant but just wanted to you know talk about it right um so that's um that's pretty basic stuff i wanted to cover as you can see that just a theory and my apologies if you got bored but you know i can't avoid the theory there sometimes i do have to explain to you guys right to understand you know what's going under the hood and the things which you should be aware of right so that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about hopefully over a future lessons will get more exciting when we do more hands on right so that being said uh, you guys have an amazing tuesday adios